Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. My name is Billy Bear Clark. I'm the head instructor here at Ohana Academy West. This is Thomas, he's gonna be helping us out today. Guys, if you're ever in the San Antonio area, we have four locations for Ohana. If you ever wanna come do some jujitsu, Muay Thai, wrestling, we've got it all here, MMA included. Feel free to come on to any one of our locations. We'll be happy to have you on the mats, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. If you like any of these videos, if you find them effective, please give us a like, a share. You can leave a comment on the bottom. and be happy to have you subscribe and sharing some more techniques here with you guys. Today, we're gonna to be going over the mounted arm bar. So I'm gonna have Thomas on his back. I got my mount position, and I wanna work on isolating one of his arms. So I'll go ahead and start grabbing onto the wrist, starting with weaving my hand under his wrist over his elbow so I'm able to go ahead and trap and begin the isolation of the arm that I'm going to begin to arm bar. I want to go ahead and pull across as I start to pull, pull my hand up. Whenever I post my hand up high, that's going to allow me to go to a high mount. I want my base to be heavy on Thomas as I start to execute. So I'll slide my legs up and I'll go ahead and adjust to an S mount position. I want my foot to be trapped underneath his shoulder as I switch from isolating his arm with my left hand to switching with my right and grabbing onto my lapel. I want to have this mechanism where I'm going to slide once I start to apply my arm bar and fall back. Once I lean to the side, I want to step on over and I want to trap the head as I fall back. Now I can go ahead and begin to slide that arm down to the wrist, trapping my elbow close to my belly button, squeezing as tight as I can, squeezing my knees together as tight as possible. Now it's just a simple elevation of the hips and you have your tap. So it's gonna make sure we're creating a fulcrum here right with our hips. I wanna go ahead and pull, keeping his elbow on this side of my hips. I wanna make sure I'm beating that elbow on this side. Once he pulls his elbow out, then I do, ha do not have the arm bar. So it's important for me to curl my feet, keeping him close to me, so I can begin to extend his arm and pull down on that elbow. Okay guys, from this angle, I'm gonna go ahead and grab his wrist so I can start to isolate, getting my left hand under his wrist and over his elbow. Once I do that, I wanna go ahead and lean forward and then switch to a high mount and an S mount. Here. If I have to hold on to the mat, slide up, here is fine as well. Now I'm gonna switch my grip. This is gonna be the transition where I'll hold on and I'm gonna grab onto my lapel, my gi on the other side. Now I can go ahead and step on over. One detail that's gonna keep me in this position too is smashing down on his knee. If I can hold down on this knee that's on his far side and then push it across, now I'm gonna trap his bottom leg as well. It's a simple step over, squeezing my knees tight. Before I fall back, I wanna make sure I got a good position. So it's always important to fall back on your terms because as the saying goes, you wanna make sure you have a strong position before you move on to your finish. Position before submission, they say. So I gotta make sure I fall back on my terms, squeezing my knees together, elbow to my stomach and my hips start to elevate and I have a very, very effective arm bar. All right guys, now whenever I start to execute my arm bar on the side, I wanna make sure I'm doing the same angle, the same approach every time. I'm grabbing the wrist under his wrist, over his elbow, holding on, trapping the tricep or the elbow so I can start to pull it up. I wanna post my hand out, slide my knee up, my other foot slides under his shoulder. Now I'll switch my transition, holding on with my left, my right hand on my left lapel. I would love to redirect this knee, trapping it over. Now it's a simple sitting down, stepping over. Once I'm ready to fall back, my knees stay tight. And I have my foot curled close to my butt. My elbows are tight to my stomach and I start to push up on my hip with my mounted arm bar. Thank you guys so much for checking out the mounted arm bar. If you guys are interested in any of our other techniques, we have quite a few videos that are out already. If they have been helpful for you, if you do appreciate them, I'd really like for you to hit that like button. If you could leave a comment, you could share, you could subscribe, it's greatly appreciated guys. If you're ever here in San Antonio, we have four locations. We love to have you here on the mat, sharing some jujitsu guys. Thanks again for your help, Thomas. Thank you for having me.
Guys, have a great day. Us. Us.